the worst thing that ever happened to my hair was when ants ants got into my hair hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm so glad to have you back here my name is Tai if you're new here and today i'm going to be filming a natural hair tag so this is my hair if you're wondering yeah so i'm going to be answering different questions about my hair natural hair tag so yeah let's get right into the video so the first question says why did you start your hair journey i love this question because i want people to know that i did not start my natural hair journey you know on my own <laughs> It was not something I woke up and said, you know what, let me just go natural, no. So when I was nine, was it nine or ten? I can't really remember. But I remember I was in GSS2 and then my mom just woke up one day and said, eh, relax, you are, we are going to cut, I'm going to cut your hair. You people will be carrying your virgin hair. Virgin. <laughs> so that was how it happened and then honestly at that point i didn't like it because my hair was relaxed it was fine you know it was pretty long and then my mom was just saying we were going to cut it it wasn't like she had that reason you know she just said we were cutting our hair we were starting all over and you know we were angry we didn't understand it why why at that time packing gel was like the the raining hairstyle so like whenever there was a party or anything you see people packing gel packing gel i was like why would i you know why would i why would i why would i that was how it started however my current hair journey started in 2016 and at that point i just wanted to be more intentional i just cut it all off i wanted to start all over afresh by myself next question says how long have you been on your hair journey um so this particular hair journey started in 2016 yes i i cut off my hair in 2016 and started all over so if i see a picture i'm going to insert it somewhere on the screen so you're going to see it so it started in 2016 so i've been natural for five years over five years now uh natural relaxed or transitioned i think that's uh, that's pretty obvious i'm natural <laughs> uh, what is your hair length uh, I actually don't know my app like it's been a while I did a length check but I'll put it on the screen I'm going to do a length check after this and I'll put it on the screen what is your goal length my goal length is a waist length I feel like if my hair gets longer than waist length I'm probably going to start snipping it off <laughs> and I may not because when you now see it you now begin to I don't want to cut it but I don't know yet but I may you know yeah so waist length is my goal length so next question says health or length <laughs> everybody says health and that's the right thing to say because you should choose the health of your hair over the length of your hair if your hair is long and it's not healthy it's Next question says, if you could live with one hair product, what would it be? This question is weird, but I'm going to choose cha shampoo because if my hair is dirty, it's going to itch me. If it itches me, it's my hair is not going to be healthy if it's if it's dirty. To be honest, it's not going to thrive. Um, I'm just going to make sure that that shampoo has to be completely and totally moisturizing. Also, I don't think this is feasible. Like, why would I have to choose one hair product to live with for the rest of my life? <laughs> uh, anyway, next question. Worst products. What's the worst product I've used so far? Uh, I don't think I really have any bad experience with products because I've not actually used a whole lot of products. But I remember the very first time I used Ayurvedic herbs. It was a bad experience because like I had so many or so much residue in my hair it was difficult to wash it out even after washing it out it still was still a lot in my hair I don't know what I did wrong because since then I've still not been able to use it <laughs> because I don't know if there's something I'm not doing right you know and all that so I think that's what I'm going to choose 
next question what's my go-to hairstyle <laughs> my go-to hairstyle has to be me parting the hair in the middle in the center and packing it all the way to the back in a bun uh, next question says are you a product junkie no next question says how often do you trim your ends how often do you trim your ends so this question i trim my ends whenever i discover that it is necessary for, for me to trim my ends my hair is currently due for a trim but i've been procrastinating because <laughs> i'm not sure i have the time oh uh, my twin sister sent me a message like some days ago and said when are you trimming your ends i'm like I told her that when she comes home, she'll come and do it for me. Anyway, next question. How often do you use heat? So I do not use heat on my hair. Um, when I started my hair journey in 2016, I used it once. Yes, once. And it took a while for my hair to revert back to normal. I'm going to insert a picture of when I used heat on my hair when I started. It was so beautiful. But it took a while for heat for for the air to revert back to its normal coiling states. Ever since then, I've been so scared of using it. Of course, I know that if I want to use heat, I can. Um, I just have to, you know, use heat protectant and all that. But I don't really need heat in my on my hair. When I do, I'll probably use it. Do you take supplements for my hair? No. Favorite oil. Um, I don't have a favorite oil. I just use oil that serves me. <laughs> The, the oil that I'm currently using is shiny organics oil and that's what I'm currently using it's a, it's a blend of different oils um, my egg crush I love Afrizini a lot I love her hair so much so when I first went natural um, at the early stage it felt like her hair was very similar to my hair and like, I'll just spend a lot of time on her page just looking at her pictures you know and all that so I love Afrizini a lot how does how long does it take you on wash day so my wash day takes like two hours yeah and that's because i usually have to wait for my deep conditioner to penetrate you know before i can wash off okay we are gradually getting to the end worst thing that ever happened to your hair the worst thing that ever happened to my hair was when ants ants got into my hair uh, I don't know, I can't really remember how it happened, but I know that I passed under a tree or I stayed under a tree for a while and I didn't know that the ants from the tree was everywhere beginning to get into my hair. Guys, it was terrible. I do not like anything touching my skin. I ate it so much, like it gets me so irritated and cranky so ants getting into my air a lot of them was terrible i was crying <laughs> i remember getting to my hostel and then all my friends were you know helping me take them out oh gosh like right now as i'm remembering it like i'm having goosebumps <laughs> i don't like insects i don't like insects so like a lot of them got into my hair and then they had to help me take them out i think afterwards i had to wash the hair that's still like the worst thing that has happened to my hair so far like ever that's the worst thing i don't like that memory <laughs> uh the second to the last question says will you dye your hair it's a what color so i'm never going to permanently dye my hair because it takes a lot of stress and time and energy to take care of a dyed air a permanently dyed air however i'm going to try temporary dyes once in a while and if, if so what color i don't know i'm going to probably try different colors i'm going to start with brown then wine then purple yeah i'm going to try them out you are going to get to see them on the channel and the last question says what is my current air regimen okay nice question mm, nice question yeah, i love this question so currently i shampoo my hair once in two weeks sometimes once a week just depends on how my scalp uh, you know feels and after shampooing every wash day i deep condition my hair it's important an important step that i do not skip um also after doing that i wash off 
and then I moisturize my hair. I use my leave-in conditioner. I currently use the Mega Growth leave-in conditioner. Okay, let me start from the shampoo. I currently use Shiny Organics shampoo um, for the deep conditioner. I use my Mega Growth deep conditioner. So the leave-in conditioner I currently use is Mega Growth leave-in conditioner, and then I apply my oil from Shiny Organics and also i now seal with my butter i use shea butter only it's a random shea butter that i got from mushi market so yeah that's what i currently do afterwards i just style my hair or pack it on a bun and that's all <laughs> i try as much as possible to not stress my hair to not stress my scalp because whatever you stress is not going to grow it's not going to thrive it's going to fall sick so I try as much as possible to not stress my scalp. I think it's important. So thank you so much for watching this video. Kindly like my video. Subscribe if you are yet to subscribe. Uh, leave me comments in the comment section. If you have more questions about my natural hair, please ask me in the comment section and I'm going to respond to you. I'll make another video if I have a lot of questions to respond to. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.